Before we get into today's video where I know you guys are excited because the Fredericks family has a new pup. That's right. We got a, a little golden doodle puppy and he is absolutely adorable. And if you don't think for one minute that I didn't go to Skillshare to take a dog canine masterclass, then you got me twisted up and bent because I sure did. I took a class by Tatiana Ambrosia called Canine Health, how to cut, how to groom, T home tips and ensuring that your dog doesn't overheat at the house. She has six different segments. She has a grooming at home, which is really important because you can't always get groomers. Uh, you can't take your dog to the groomer before they have the vaccination. So you need to figure that out perhaps by doing it at the house, cut their nails, make sure they're not scratching on the walls and that kind of thing. Really, really great class, but that's not all because Skillshare is a learning platform for creatives like me who get puppies, but also obviously I'm on social media and I need to learn how to grow my business. So right now, all the rage on Instagram are reels. It is one of the fastest ways to have growth on that platform. So I took a how to create Instagram reels three different ways by Sylvia Pino. Really, really great class. Wasn't very long, about 40 minutes of your time and the information and the information that you learn is invaluable. You learn how to use audio. She does a step-by-step -step guide. She does an outro. She does a talking head. She teaches you everything you need to know to do and create exciting, fun reels on the gram. Uh, if you're interested in signing up for Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my bio will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Again, please use the link in my description box and you will get a one month free trial. Just be part of the first 1,000 people. And now, meet Monty. Right. I should have been recording, but I didn't. We literally just had the worst sleep ever. Uh, we were in the very first seat and if you're unfamiliar with being in the very first seat, it's the worst seat on the airplane and probably the last seat as well because you can't put your seat back and try and take in a red eye to go to sleep and then not being able to put your seat back makes it very hard to go to sleep. But we're in Atlanta. We're going to go to Tony Baker's show tonight and then Houston tomorrow and then I'll be in LA. And that will be the vlog a week in a flight, and Joshua is there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't vlog yesterday in Atlanta at all, but the reason why is because you should be in the moment, and yesterday I was in the moment. So you guys want footage of me like landing, and then all of a sudden I'm in Hobby Lobby. Hi, Houston. This is where I am right now. Uh, so we're here with Nikki, you see Big Tony, and you see Big, Big Tony. Tony. What up? That's hey. Nikki, she exists. This is my first time meeting her. We've been working together for months. I'm very excited. And we're gonna go to for Love on Stage that you guys are enjoying. We're gonna look at some uh, potential venues for the live in person show. Um, and if I remember to take out my camera, you guys will see them. How about that? All right. All right. So we are at our first location. What is it called, Nikki? Herman Park. Herman Park Conservancy. 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 I said what I said. Uh, we just stopped and ate at this place, which is phenomenal. It's like a, I got a mango freshly squeezed juice situation. Very, 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 very good. So now what are we going to be doing? We're going to check out Herman Park. It's iconic here in Houston and it's wonderful. She says she's bad at being on camera and then like nailed that introduction. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys all the things. All right, let's get started. Um, there are four Both people to a boat. Oh, okay. Four people. So our daters could be two and then you guys could be the uh, other do you two. have a four? Can it just be no, two? No, no, no. It could just be the two of them. Okay. It could just be the two of them. This is what it looks like. Paddle bows, the ducks. We are Welcome. It. We're on the train. Have a good time. All of us are here at the Herman Conservatory or something like that. I can't remember the name of this place. My yes. brain won't allow me to remember. I can yeah, what she said. I want you to know that this glow on my face is actually sweat. <laughs> Houston. Cosmetic companies tried to replicate this. You need to bottle humidity and sell it. Look at all the greenery in Houston. So 
to for lighting. So when we talk to the event planner, we can have a meeting what they would like for the production side of the house, and then I can tell her what I want like aesthetically. Okay. Yeah. Great. So some shade would obviously make them comfortable. I mean, it's yeah. But not not like a hard umbrella, but like a sheer like silk. Okay. Um. Okay. So listen, this is what's going on. Love on stage is underway. We're at our um, break time. So we have like a three week break where we have the dates going. Um, uh, we have the dates getting underway with the couples. They've already been matched. The audience doesn't know, but like, I know, obviously. So the couples had their first date. By the time this comes out, the date should come. So I'ma just do some spoilers. Okay, so Jesus and Aries went on their first date. It went better than I expected. Walter and Sherelle went on their date. Really, really cute. However, Bria and Robert, though, first of all, I was I was rooting for y'all. First of all, I was rooting for y'all. I knew, I knew, I knew y'all were a good match. And so I watched their date yesterday. It was like two hours, first of all. Stephanie, the producer, was like, hey, y'all, the next date's about to start. Like, I kind of, y'all got to stop. And you could tell toward the end, Bria was like, oh, man, we won't be able to talk again. We won't be able to connect again until... Uh, the next virtual date. And I was like, first of all, she don't want this date to end. Second of all, Robert asked her for her phone number. He did it. So at the end, me being my messy self, did a post on Instagram. I'll make sure the insert and was like, one day in particular, y'all need to connect outside the show. Y'all need to exchange phone numbers. I know y'all gonna see this, exchange phone numbers. Why did Bria respond? <laughs> her and Robert was talking. At the time I did the post for like three and a half hours after having a date for two hours. Love on stage is legit. That's all I want to say. We over here doing what we do. Stage crew, y'all voted. Y'all did right. I'm excited for date two. We got real shows we, over here. We got real shows. Talk about it, Liz. For real. Somebody was like, oh my God, Melissa, I binge Love on stage. And I was like, first of all, it's the fact that I have a show that's binge worthy. Come on. It's only four episodes. I don't care. That's point. It's a binge. <laughs> it's a binge period. So I'll make sure today I'm doing the recaps with all of the people individually. I'll make sure to give updates on this vlog in real time. Cause I was so excited last night. I jumped on my bed. Bria, she sent me a voice. Oh, she sent me a voice note. Hold on, I'm gonna play it. Cause I'm so messy. You are I'm the worst. Messy. Yeah. So this was, she, I said, I sent her this voice note after she said, uh, they were talking, she sent me this. For three and a half hours, they were talking. That's the screenshot, I'll make sure to include it. So then I sent this. Oh, play. Girl, y'all been talking for three hours. You better give me every detail. So then, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So then she said. <laughs> yes, we were on the phone for hours, like little kids without a bedtime. It was crazy. So today I'm gonna get the recap. I'm gonna get all the tea. I'm the most excited for their date. Like, please, Robert, what was your opinion? How did it go? Bria, what was your opinion? How did it go? What was y'all talking about for three hours when the cameras were not there? Huh? What was y'all talking about? I'm excited. Very excited. So I'm about to head over to this downstage. I'm about to shoot uh, Love on Stage, but I wanna let you guys know, so, Monty is coming to the house and about a few days, like five days or so. And I have been watching every single puppy training, puppy preparation video imaginable. I legit feel like a puppy trainer. I'm super excited to go through this process because my biggest thing um, with getting a puppy is that I was afraid that essentially they would ruin the house and my house would smell like pee and poop and they would chew up things and walls and I would just be like super frustrated. And so in order to make this a really pleasurable experience for my family, for me, and honestly for the dog, because you don't want a dog that's feeling fussed at all the time. I am learning how to train a dog. Super excited to go through this journey um, and see how it works with Monty. I'm very excited to like, you know, take you guys on the journey of the Fredericks family getting a new dog. But anyway, I'm about to head over to the sound stage, start shooting Love on Stage, which I'm really excited about. And yeah, girl, all right, that's what we better do.
All right, so I'm back in the studio. We're about to shoot Love on Stage. I need you guys to see this set. I know you guys saw it already, but like, that's a TV. Like, don't, don't add us, first of all. That's a whole actual TV. Turn on the Netflix. Flip, flip, flip the situations. Watch this. Don't add us. This is, you want to talk about a studio? You could be, listen, listen, you see it? You see it? You see it moving? That's actual and factual. Boom, boom. Boom, just pick one, I don't care, just pick one. Yeah, Peacock, that'll work. Boom, look at that. Actually, you know what you should have picked was Kevin Sage Studio, is it? Was other? Oh, it might not be installed, okay. Okay, so this is the new, um, I'm in the conference room, I mean, I'm sorry, in the lobby. And they got all of this done. Doesn't it look cool? There's a barn door over here. Right, yeah. I think Greg installed this. Building with goose. Boom. Looks really good, right? Don't add us. We're out here doing the things we're supposed to do. Look, we have good people. Morning. Good morning. Look, look, there's Kylas. I think y'all <laughs> see Kylas in every vlog. Good morning. It might not be morning when y'all. There's Bomani. There. Boom. There we go. Folks, we working. So I'm gonna be shooting today. We're gonna to be doing the panel with Kevin, Marcus, and Angel. And um, and then we'll be doing date two. And I'll show y'all a little bit of it, okay. All right, we have all the peoples coming. Angel's on the panel today. I am not. Joshua is here. I bought this dress, took it right back. Why? Because I did not look like this in <laughs> Didn't, but I will be wearing a strapless dress. Yay! Your braids are cute. Lovely. Aren't you just some lovely? I am actually. Every time I do a vlog and I'm shooting, you guys will see the you will see this set. As if it's the first time. Every time. <laughs> Don't ever in life think that Kevin Say Studios ain't real. This what's this called, Tony? This is a Surf Pro. Which one do you want to look at? Let's let's go, let's go here. Boom. Huh? B Boom. cam. Let me get close. C cam. Come on, sir. Come on, cam. Come on, sir. Come on. Come on, sir. Rotation back to A cam. To C to B. What? How come you back know how to, to work a. that on I don't. I just saw buttons and look familiar. That's, that's all that's all all this stuff is. That's all, all it is. This is the, the Teradex Surf Pro and it's fantastic when it works. Oh, we're real out here, first of all. Don't don't add Kev on Stage Studios. With, with real expenses, so please subscribe and support. Correct. Because Just we need it. Thank swipe you. up. Right. Do that. Okay, tell me about James real quick. James Gamble Jr. was a 25 year old James. engineer. Somebody engineer from James. He was a young dude. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was trying to remember. He's Russell, Russell he Wilson. Somebody. Yeah, he was about no, Russell about Wilson, ain't nobody he Russell Wilson. <laughs> So we just filmed the very first episode uh, with the panel and we did the reaction episode. We revealed who the stage crew picked with whom and there was one pairing in, I'm not gonna tell y'all because I want y'all to go get the app and watch it, but we were all very excited about, I'm excited about, y'all gonna be excited about. Just know it's a whole Lauren and Cameron situation happening. Ooh, period. Wow. Get the period. Get you heard her. Get get you heard her. Get in out. Get in out. Period. All right. It's been a very long day, but it's been a great day. We completed a total three episodes. Load. I'm freaking fantastically great stuff. I'm super, super, super excited. Thank you. You're welcome, baby. Thank you to Angel. Thank you to Marcus and everyone. Yeah, yeah. He walking out the door. He out the door. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Like super excited for you guys to see these dates, child. Y'all, it's gonna be it's gonna great be stuff. Okay, so today is puppy pickup day. It's Monty Day! Yeah. So we're gonna go pick up Joe, then Isaiah, and then head over to coronavirus to go pick up. Corona <laughs> California. This is Melissa buying the dog a playpen. This is Instagram ads. The moment we talked about getting a dog, this ad showed up for this Diggs crate. We bought it. Melissa filled the bottom with um, puppy pads. Mm -hmm. So he got his little apartment, he got his little one bedroom en suite. So he don't be in the whole house. So we don't mind he gonna live here. We can put his food in the little playpen area. I just wanna say to dog parents across the world, I apologize. Yeah, I had the same <laughs> idea. I'm so sorry. I I get it. Uh, we need to give him Perrier in his gold. This woman got gold. 
gold feeding bowls, one for food, one for water. Yes. This dog is gonna be spoiled rot in. Put Perrier in there. Okay. Okay. Fiji bottled water for Monty. No tap. No tap. This boy go to private dog school. Right. All right, we'll see you guys later. Okay, so we it is Monty day. We're still <laughs> going to pick up Monty. Monty we just picked day. up Who's trying to hide? Joe, Daddy, Josher, and we're all very excited. <laughs> very, very. We got a little situation right here. This little puppy car seat with some Is that where he's gonna sit? puppy pads. Mm -hmm. He's gonna think, get on stage, you're my dad. That's what I didn't say. know. I was born into an influencer family. Nice. It's like I follow you. <laughs> So we just traveled like an hour and a half, like legitimately an hour and a half. We're all sleeping in the car. We're gonna go eat. This is all precursor. What did you call it, Monty Day? I need to put it in the calendar. So Monty Day is, I need this to, is his birthday now. Yeah, I was gonna say it. Actually, you know what I put is his birthday is my birthday. Cause he was born like eight or nine weeks ago. So it's like right around my no, birthday. No, he was born the moment we got him. We're gonna eat at Kingsfish House. Me and Kev love this restaurant from Calabasas, but we don't live there no more, so. All right, so we just ate at King's Fish House. I don't know if you guys can see the sign behind me up there. Um, but we just ate there. Actually, the food was very good. I think we all enjoyed it. Go this way. Uh, it has been very, very good. And now we're about 30 minutes. It is now... Monty time is almost here. But it's about 3.57. And Monty time is almost here. We're all super excited. We got about 30 minutes before we meet Monty and Monty meets us. And we are just overjoyed, y'all. Like, look at my voice. <laughs> this is the nonsense, but it's also the cutest thing. I love when they're brothers. Hey, you're strong still. I know. Okay, come be brothers again. Oh. My literal favorite thing is to watch you guys be brothers. Look at Joe, his little cute, handsome face. His little cute, handsome face. He's just so cute. Joe, look around. Joe, turn to me, Joe. Joe, turn to me if you're handsome. Okay, fine. Okay, so this is what's happening. We're negotiating where Monty's to sit. Monty so wants to sit have with his mom this and dad. Here between the people Kevin who have paid for all of his stuff. Joe, he's my that's it. Dad. Joe thinks, him. this Hold is on, the Liz. problem. Hold Monty on, thinks, Ma him. Joe thinks hey, Monty, Monty is his job, his dog. Monty, he's Kevin. not, he's yes. being Kevin's dog. Do you want to sit in the middle with me and Melissa? We're live <laughs> with Kevin with Frederick <laughs> on the phone with Lamontarius Rowan Frederick. That's what I said. What did he say, Kev? Tell us what he said, Kev. Tell us what he said, Kev. I trust adults. I trust adults, not children. Sit down, put your seatbelt on. He said what, Okay, Monty. I trust adults and not children. Okay, Monty. Oh, dang it, that was me. Okay, Monty. Dog boy. <laughs> it's Scooby Doo, that's what it is. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Mommy already no. made this little thing for him. No, I you can just pet him from the back. No, enough. He needs no. to sit with us, father. No, man. He needs to yes. onto us first. Me and mommy bought him the high value treat. No. Yeah. that I mean, you left at the home. I don't want to let him go. I don't want to let him go. Hold on, hold on. I was, I was, I was, I was, Yo, he no. loves you. Oh, hello. My boy. Oh, my God. Hello there, sir. He looks exactly how he looks in the picture. Hi, buddy. Oh, my God, I can't. I'm sorry, Joshua. Joe, how do you feel? Go on this side, Joe. Oh, Joe he, is. he was chill in the picture. How do you feel, Joe? I'm excited. His okay. nails in my shirt a little bit. Oh, is he? Yeah. He's scared, Joe. So Just pet him. Know. Rub him. I can't. I okay. Him. Look at how Hi, buddy. he has a baby. Look Hi. There you go, Isaiah. Don't oh. be scared. Okay. 
are we gonna go? This is new for you, I understand that. Yes, this is so new. Emily, you live with Kev on stage now. You're in a gated community, mom. Hold on, let's take one <laughs> picture. So we just got home from picking up Monty. Joshua's out the car. Oh. There goes Isaiah. There goes Kev Kev. Oh. Oh. It's Monty. It's his first night in the home. I'm gonna vlog the whole night away. No dog food, he said. Oh. Thank you. All right, let me grab everything out of the car though. Oh, look at him. Is he happy? I can't tell. Wait, let me grab the food. I don't know how that was going to work. No, but actually, you should open it though. See, don't. You should let him know that he can come in or out. It's yeah, okay. Like, I thought it was this part. Yeah, but either way, he feels trapped. He shouldn't feel like. It's, it's not a prison. Yet. Yeah, it's not a prison. I don't know, man. We're filming Monty's first poop. Yes. Bring a toy out. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Relax, Monty. Relax. Relax. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god, this is so awesome. Look at the baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He said, I'm not doing that, I'm tired. My legs are little, he can't go that fast. <laughs> That's what I said. That's what I said. He likes Joe so much. When he's doing that, if you like it, say kisses and you'll low-key be teaching him like, we like him. But if he's biting you, don't let him do that. Calm down, calm down. Please. Yeah. Oh, ow. So I've literally watched every no, no, YouTube imaginable, and so we're crate training Monty right now. He wasn't eating that much because I know his anxiety is high, so I added a little bit of extra stuff. He's in and out, we're letting his curiosity roam, letting him go in and out of the crate, get accustomed to being here. He's not crying, he's not whimpering. I'm hoping it allows for a very good night tonight where he's not like so anxious about being inside the crate, but we'll find out. But he just had a really, actually he ate very, very good. So Joe, yeah, you can take him out. All right, Monty. That's enough for... Monty. Uh, he only has to Monty. get a little bit, right? Yeah. Monty! Monty! We've literally played with Monty from the moment he walked in the house, and his little eyes are getting so heavy. And it is the sweetest, oh, cutest thing exactly. ever. Like, he cannot keep his eyes open. Because you're being annoying. Actually, what you should do while he's awake is put him in his crate. You're not listening to me. Because when he goes to sleep, you're not going to want to move him. Let's while he's cute. No, Kevin, oh while gosh. he's this tired, you should put him in the crate. I know you're right, but I won't get this video. You're annoying. Video you're video more video. than annoying. Yeah, we have worn this dog out. And I would say that crate training has been a success. He's sleep. He's not all the way He's in his crate, guy. but it's a win for me. I'm closing the vlog with this. Just eat your heart out. He pooped outside, me and Kev jumped and yelled. He thought he was entered into the Olympics. <laughs>